In celebration of the triumph of modern art in America, the U.S. Postal Service commemorates 12 important modern artists and their works. 100 years after the groundbreaking Armory Show opened in New York City in 1913. The masterpieces reproduced on the modern art in America stamps include Marcel Duchamp, Nude Descending a Staircase, number 2, 1912, Marsden Hartley, Painting, number 5, 1914 through 15, John Marin, Sunset, Main Coast, 1919, Joseph Stella, Brooklyn Bridge, 1919 through 20, Gerald Murphy, Razor, 1924, Man Ray, Nouveau à Blanche, 1926, Aaron Douglas, The Prodigal Son, 1927, Charles D. Muth, I Saw the Figure Five in Gold, 1928, Arthur Dove, Foghorns, 1929, Georgia O'Keeffe, Black Mesa Landscape, New Mexico, Out Back of Marie's II, 1930, Charles Sheeler, American Landscape, 1930, and Stuart Davis, House and Street, 1931. Our fair was started by four New York art dealers as the Gramercy International uh, in 1994. And in 1999, it moved to the, the 69th Regiment Armory uh, at the bottom of Lexington Avenue, where it acquired the name The Armory Show, which was in homage to the original 1913 Armory Show. It was the same venue. Uh, so this year, um, 15 years on or 14 years on, we are celebrating the centennial of the original Armory Show. And in response to that, we've developed a, a huge range of programming, talks, uh, performances, film screenings, etc., that really reflect on uh, on this heritage, uh, and uh, we're really, really proud of that. And, and today's stamp unveiling. Absolutely. Uh, today's stamp unveiling uh, was a great opportunity. We were approached by the USPS to, to launch this new series of a dozen stamps from 1913 to 31, uh, including uh, Duchamp's New Descending a Staircase, which was a scandalous painting that was originally presented in the 1913 Armory Show, and, uh, and now they've made a stamp to commemorate it. So we're really proud to have had this event at our fair. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, New York in 1913? New York in 1913 was an extraordinary place, and it was the place that was host to the Armory Show, which was the birth and the introduction to the world of the avant-garde and the different way of looking at uh, the 20th century. So um, 1913, all sorts of things are happening. The Woolworth Building opens, Grand Central opens. Uh, people are expressing themselves in a very different way through free love, free verse. Uh, Greenwich Village, Bohemia was in full flower. A very different place from the rest of the country. So perfect for, uh, for the Marmory Show to be held here. Um, at the New York Historical Society, it is New York's oldest museum, founded in 1804, to uh, collect and preserve uh, historic documents, artifacts, art, artworks. Uh, it's uh, an amazing place up on Central Park West and 77th Street uh, where you can learn about the city and the nation and the very important intersection between the two. And what do you think about these stamps today? These stamps are absolutely beautiful. Uh, they, they, they are artistic in and of themselves, and they're also historic. So uh, extraordinary to be part of this uh, very auspicious process of inaugurating a new stamp. Do you have a favorite? I think my favorite would be New Descending a Staircase. That was the thing that was so controversial, the painting at the Armory Show in 1913. It will be on view at the New York Historical Society at an exhibition we're doing uh, in uh, October, which will go through, through February of 2014. And I, uh, it's wonderful to see it in such an ubiquitous way on a stamp. What made it so controversial? It, people couldn't see what was going on. It's a very cubist form. It's a nude descending a staircase, but you can't see the nude. You can't see the staircase. Some people said it was like an explosion in a shingle factory. Uh, just couldn't tell what it was. Very different way of, of expressing art and the, uh, the human form. The Master of Ceremonies was a familiar face in the New York news business. New York One's Roger Clark.
I've got to know the Postal Service uh, through other stories I've done in the past. Like, for instance, on tax day, we're always at the main post office. Um, and uh, during the holidays, well, a lot of times we'll do stories about the last shipping day. So I've got to know the uh, public relations crew over there, great people. And uh, then they asked me again to do this, and I couldn't say no because it's such a great honor. I mean, and one, I get to be at the Armory Show. Two, I get to see a great stamp before anybody else and uh, get to meet a lot of great people. So it's really a great honor and a, a privilege to be able to do something like this. You know? we've, been, we've been doing this for 150 years, uh, issuing stamps that you know, now will adorn, that will go to addresses across the country, about 150 million addresses. Will, uh, and these are just beautiful stamps to be able to put on an envelope out there. So uh, it's nice to be able to, to celebrate our heritage, our culture, uh, and to be here at the, uh, such a historic event, the Armory Show in New York. Customers have until May 7th, 2013 to obtain the first day of issue postmark by mail. Affix the stamps to envelopes of your choice, address the envelopes to yourself or others and place them in a larger envelope addressed to Modern Art in America 1913 to 1931 stamps, Postmaster, 421 8th Avenue, Room 2029B, New York, New York, 10199-9998. After applying the first day of issue postmark, the Postal Service will return the envelopes by mail. There is no charge for the postmark. All orders must be postmarked by May 7, 2013. I'm Crystal Hart. Hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.